Welcome to Bad Food Blog, and look what we have. We have Nona Maffey. Nona Maffey. Pepperoni pizza. Stone baked pizza. I'm pretty sure that should be red. Medium, medium. I would say that's high for salt. 30% of a human's recommended daily intake is probably high, not medium. Mmm. 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, 200 degrees. That's what I have the oven set at. Mmm. See what it looks like. Da 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 da. Whoa. Where's the cheese? I don't see any cheese. My God. No wonder it's medium on everything. It's like a low fat pizza. My God. This might only be pizza for two of us. Yeah, I don't think I'm feeding three people with these. Wow. Okay. Well, that's pizza for two then. After some searching, I found the other pizza tray. Let's put them in the oven and then uh, see what they look like once they're cooked. I can't move the pepperoni around because it's so frozen to the pizza. So it's just gonna have to deal with this funny layout of pepperoni, which is really weird. Also, they have very, very many different amounts of pepperoni. This one is got like half the pepperoni of this one. I don't know if you can see that, but this one is weak and this one is strong. Alexa, set timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. Because the pizzas were so underwhelming, I had to knock this up, which is flatbread with um, leftover spaghetti bolognese sauce on it with some hard cheese grated on top and some pepper. Nice. That's going in the oven too. First thing that comes to mind is, where's the cheese? Look, the cheese has completely vanished. And I couldn't even make the cheese go brown. It's just red circles. I don't like these pizzas. Definitely bad food. Not many things I will just come out and say I don't like, but I don't like pizzas that look like that. Well, I might as well slice them up with the pizza wheel and then try them. Oh, here we are. By the way, you should always use oven gloves. You shouldn't rely on having heatproof hands like me. They're not heatproof. I've just I've worked in a kitchen when I was very much younger and know exactly how hot something has to be before it burns you. Ah, here we are. I'm only going to try one slice of one of them. slice from there. Well, I'll take a half slice. I'm only trying it. Half of a half slice. There we go. That's a one eighth. Mm. Good quality pepperoni. Max, your pizza ready? You can munch and talk. No, you can eat upstairs for once. Not on the carpet, Max. Here we go, let's try it. Mmm. Well, it's really nice, just doesn't look like it's got much cheese on it. For the price though, like £3.50, I don't think I'll buy those again. It may even be four pounds. It's too much money for something so thin, so small, with so little cheese. And those are the flatbreads I did. I'll put one of them back in the oven to keep it warm for later.
And I'll try this one. Hmm. Flatbread makes a very cheap pizza base. Yummy. Ah, it's got a lot of toppings and pizza on. See? That's much better. All right, thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, please like the video. If you know what I do here, please, please, please subscribe. I can't bite into those for about five minutes. The amount of spaghetti bolognese sauce on the top of them would destroy the roof of my mouth. Might add a little epilogue at the end just to see what they taste like.